Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Midwest Horizons. Woohoo! It's our host with not the most. Mr. Blue aka Tommy Miller. Folks, today we are done plowing everything that I know we need to plow. Uh, except for our grass fields. We gotta get stuff off them first. So, we are going to take and trade this plow in. Uh, there's another farmer that's needing one, and uh, I like, I can help him out, you know. Uh, so, we're going to take this back to dealership. Uh, let's see. Main farm to market. Drive course. Stop at the last trigger. And we're just going to look around. I ain't told too much about the shops. We, we got these two shops here. In the back part of this one, we got a spot where we're going to be putting our trailers, or semi trailers, hopper bottoms. And of course, you know, storage. We got a header rack right here. We can put our headers on it. Now it raise it up. So we put like two or three more. That way they'll be out of the way. Of course, we got a relay tire back there for our 2A radios. Now this area out here is going to be for grain bins. And uh, we got fertilize and herbicide tanks. We need to put another one down for fuel. So, yeah. But anyway, we're going to hop out of this one. And there's our others. This is the guy we're wanting today. I don't know. There we go. Had a little lag right there. But this is our 7810. I don't know if y'all seen it inside of it or not. But uh, for us today, we're going to be doing some uh, drilling some weed in. So let's get started on that. We're going to uh, turn the sower on. Make sure we got wheat. Yep. I'm going to go in here and lower it down. They didn't have any back legs back here, wheels for support. I don't think this tractor would be able to lift it. I think the front end will come up off the ground. But we are putting some weed in. Eight mile an hour. It's going to take a while for this little guy to, to do all this. So I'm going to hire a worker. Oh no, not AI. Let's turn that off real quick. Okay. Go back, hire a worker. There we go. All right. Um, it's going to take a real guy a long time to get there. I also want to show you this. This is a, it's kind of loud, but it's, it's working. I got to smooth out a ramp right here or something because I don't know what that might be too much when they come in to level they should have leveled that out let's get over here but shoo birds get out of here there's this up big old hopper for wood chips 11,666 wood chips in there so far hope y'all can hear me this thing's loud 13,833 on the wood chips I mean, on a fuel, it takes a regular diesel. And uh, this thing right over here does magic. You, you load your logs in, and it turns them to wood chips, takes them up there and stores them. Right now, you see we got 69,335. That's a lot of wood chips. 
and we put our dozer to work trying to push some of these uh, stumps and stuff out of here so we're going to empty this guy because he's still got the bees still got some wood chips in them uh, how much does he have 120,518 wood chips or liters of wood chips in this one. so this guy's going to go bye bye when we get him unloaded yeah whoop. that's a dead deadly death trap right there bulldozer's been doing fine our front loader is doing pretty good uh we're going to sell you know we're going to come in here see where this log sorry about that folks radio was wide open but anyway we're going to get the straightest part of this cut it here we're going to take both pieces, but the limbs off these things, we're going to turn them to wood chips. So, uh, I've been doing this off screen a little bit here and there. And uh, we got a long ways to go. Look how they turn, folks. I love that. The, the light green, they're alive, and the dead ones turn to a dark green. And, and look at the rot around the logs there. It's just it's awesome, or at least it is to me. All right. We got these two guys here. Uh, we're going to wash them up and everything, put them away. Uh, we might plow a little bit more of this. I don't know. I don't think we need all these. Because we got that big field right there. Then we got that little bit right over there. We got that little bit. And then we got that section back there. I think from that water valve back to the trees is going to go bye bye after the grass you know after we get the grass out for it we're going to put our uh, uh, silos up in here and stuff we're, we're going to get it all figured out pretty soon see where our guy's at oh he's still in the main that was Sarah he, he's way up there Let's uh, cycle through here and see how our. Oh, yeah. Oh, he missed it a little bit there. That'll be all right, though. But when he gets back to this other. Wait, what? Please tell me he went all the way through. Oh, he turned it around right there. That's that's uh not good. Four mile an hour. Oh, he's fixing to stop. Kind of look like he's having a hard time there. Y'all see that on the wheels? Please tell me this thing ain't going to mess up. He's back up to eight now. Look like the wheel's going backwards. They actually do do that in real life. You get looking at them going down the road, and for some reason it looks like they're going backwards, but they're really not. Because if you slow down, they're actually going the right way. Look like he, he's...
See, this is what I hate about this multiple directions. Anyway, uh, I'm going to come back here in a second, folks. I've already been 10 minutes in. Uh, I'm going to get this guy fixed up. Get the other guy hooked up to the other planter that I'm fixing to buy. And uh, we'll meet back up out here. And we're going to get some things planted. Get some wheat planted. Anyway, be back in a second. All right, we got the big cedar, y'all. And I'm trying to fill this bad boy up. And it's just taking more and more and more seeds. Um, I do have what, another planter about. Let's see here. Seed big. Yeah, okay. Just making sure. Go ahead and get that filling up. Well, I sent a truck up here to get the rest of this fertilizer and stuff, but yeah, this is uh, what I got. I'll show y'all. Uh, yeah, well, cool. Uh, put that back in. Pull up this a little bit and I'm gonna hop out with the tractor rolling. That's good. We have the uh, CCS seed metering, which is a John Deere, what is it, 1890 with the uh, pull behind cart, which is 1910. I decided to go with tracks because that's a lot of weight back there, folks. That's a lot of weight. But we're going to get this guy, if I can get back in the cab, rolling. Let's see, mark it to main farm. So all we got to do is drive course. Let me get him pointed in the right way. But I switched out the 7810 for the 4960 on that drill. And then I put the 84 10 on the other drill I just bought and it's full I went ahead and filled it up let's see let's get him going keep on wanting to hop in here there's a 7810 got too much stuff folks I still I can't get him to sell the wood chips. All right, after dabbing through all that, I finally got over here to the 4960. Look like uh, Elizabeth is doing a pretty good job. Let's see what that looks like. Um, that auto save gets me every time. As you can see, wheat, we are planting wheat. Oh, our other tractor. Got to enter that real quick. Well, let's take a look at, uh, okay, so we're going to come back and re-fertilize that. There's a waste in the fertilizer, but it'll be all right. Helper fill up. Is that getting y'all dizzy, folks? We're in the Great Plains. That would be on the side. And we zoom in, read it right there. 3S 3000 HD Great Plains Seed Drill. I figure we'll probably need all three. Stop driver. We're going to close this out. Uh, such a little path leaving behind. Let's unfold this thing. I wouldn't recommend doing it in the middle of the road like I just did. But <laughs> it'd be alright. It'd be alright. Alright, we're going to... Uh, we have wheat selected. Let's turn this baby on. Let 
Let her down. Uh, well, let's uh, finish planting crops here. Oh, we, we ain't started yet, but we started on the other end. This thing got side marker. Oh, I already put my help back on. Uh, Bridge marker, yeah, Z. There we go. We're just going to make a round. That should be enough. And then we're going to get him going straight up and down. Oh, good big boy. Come in on. Oh, we might even jump fields on the big boy and take him way over there. Let these two do this one. I think that would work pretty good. But yeah, leave it down below in the comments, folks, what y'all think. Uh, think I'm growing too big? Which, <laughs> I, I can't find that now. So you can see my money up there. We gotta sell some more wood. Uh, I do have an animal trailer. I was gonna get uh, some animals, but we're getting low on money, but we'll, we'll get there. Let's see, five, six, seven, I owe my uncle seven million dollars, so don't forget that. That should be scrolling across the screen every now and then. Uh, probably top left. Let's see if our, uh, he's Almost to the curve, heading this way, so it ain't too bad. And we are at the end of the field. Yay! Alright. Fold up those markers. We're going to lift up. Please don't plant my grass. This thing turns pretty, pretty good, too. But that is a wide ridge marker. Oh, wow. Oh, that's wide. We're going to lower that down. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty wide and curvy too. I don't like in cab view. I don't know why. I guess I'm scared I'm going to miss something. But that road marker. Wow. Oh, this tractor needs a good cleaning. Everything's dirty. At least this one runs about 10 mile an hour. I can't remember what the other was running. The other guy's almost here. I started to turn, but I'm going to go just a little bit further. I think I can beat him. I don't know if I can beat him, though. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and plant this field off screen. And let's try to get everything I can tonight. It's 1721 hours. Oh, he's a rolling. I'm, I'm not going to beat him. 
We're going to get this guy set on a worker. All right, lift it. I'm going to turn that off. Uh, I, I love the way that drill looks. I didn't get the biggest one because we really don't have nothing to pull it with. Uh, the, that tractor there has got the most horsepower. I think this one's 235, that one's 220. And I think that one's 350. 300 to 350, somewhere in there. Now I'm going to take this guy over to here and get started. All right. Took a second, but I got over here. I hope I got him set right. All right, let's uh stop, buddy. Let's, let's stop right there. Let's see here. I need to be on that. Let down our wings. Now we also on wheat. Now this guy, I want. I think that feel a little bit enough wheat this time around. Oh, don't don't crash now. It's still pretty wide, though. Look at that, folks. Look how wide that is. Yeah, that's pretty good size. Uh, let's go in our stuff here. Uh, we're going to need some oats, too. Uh, so I'm thinking about this field is going to be oats. Um, this going to be wheat, oats, and canola. And everything else down here... Uh, well, we'll probably do we're gonna be wheat, canola. I mean wheat, yeah, canola or oats. We'll do oats, and then this here is canola. And then we got sixteen, thirteen, and fourteen to figure out. Uh, what else we're going to put. So now we need to switch our guy over to barley and that's oats. Yep, oats. Double check. Yep. Alright, let's turn this bad boy on. Be off that field on the list and we'll go ahead and do that. I'll tell you what, we're going to go ahead and set up GPS real quick also. Wait, what, what? Yes, that's our tractors making that sound. I like one coming down the road. Uh, we're going to do east to west for right now. Do, do our turn road, or not turn road, or our ends. Um, calculate width. Uh, we don't have an offset, so that's good. Want snap terrain angle on. And then we're going to have to come in here and hit that. And uh, we're good to go. Planner is on. GPS is on. And we are planting oats.
Woohoo! No, I think. I'm going to stop right here for a second. Let's see. All right, good. I didn't do that. Uh, I'm taking a screenshot just in case. Okay, I hope that took the screenshot. Ah, uh, they said you can't save it. <laughs> oh, well. It'd be all right. All right. Um, tell you what, I forgot to put a little bit of footage I have in, so I'm going to insert that right now of a flyover of the farm. And, uh, I'll be back in a second, okay? Enjoy the flower. down here doing the last of the end down here with the other tractor messed up at and just checking on on uh, Elizabeth there doing a pretty good job down to 28 percent on the seeds though 25 percent on fertilizer not bad though for that much coverage so this guy here he's Doing a major boo boo. <laughs> he only made one through, and all the rest of that time, he just sitting there spinning backwards, trying to turn around. So, I'm gonna put him on AI worker, and uh, keep an eye on these two till they get done with this field. Don't know why they skipped that spot, but okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna be doing some oats while I am waiting on these two to get finished with this field. So I'm going to do all that off screen. And uh, this is probably a pretty long episode. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. I appreciate each and every one of y'all folks. Y'all don't know what y'all mean to me. Y'all mean the world to me. Then some. Y'all are awesome. So I hate to go, but it's, it's that time. It's that time. Oh, I hate that time. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to get these going. So uh, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Share me with your friends. Uh, if you're new, hit that bell. And subscribe. To subscribe, then hit the bell. It'll work better that way. All right. Uh, and I guess that's going to do it, folks. I'm going to fix this guy where it'll go up and down. Turn that on. Hit B to hire a worker. Good. Everything is perfect. I just hope I'm, I'm going to watch them for a round. 
Yeah. Definitely going to watch them for a little bit. So anyway, like I was saying, folks, thank each and every one of y'all. Don't forget to check out my links down below. Uh, and that's it. Y'all have a great day. A blessed day. And I'll see you in the next episode. Here on Midwest Horizon. Farming Simulator 19. Your host, Mr. Blue, a gay time of Bye, folks. Y'all have a good one.